Hey you guys, so I'm back for another chit chat, chit chat, yay, chit chat, can y'all see me? I opened up the blinds, it's, um, this is natural sunlight, I don't have my cameras out, it is what it is girl, so this is going to be a chit chat slash mukbang, um, I like mukbangs, I don't like when they be slopping and slurping and whispering and girls speak up, I, I, don't, I don't like to see all that nastiness, um, but people who talk and eat in a pleasant manner, I don't mind watching. So I ordered a personal pizza from Pizza Hut, veggie. This is what it looks like. It has olives. I should have said no olives, but that's okay. Olives, some raggedy ass mushrooms, <laughs> green peppers, purple onions, tomatoes. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to do is add some red pepper flakes and some Parmesan cheese. I probably should show y'all what it looks like. Mmm. Ooh, that looks good. And that's it. I have these little mini pickles I like to eat with it. Normally I like, um, what do you call it? Pepperoncinis, banana peppers. And then I have punch, mystery punch, girl, and a mason jar. Mmm. All right, y'all, so y'all know how this works. I talk about what's going on in these YouTube streets. Uh, we talk about, I think we're gonna talk about TV a little bit more because there are a couple of TV shows, excuse me, that I've been watching and I'm like, love it, love it, love it. I'm gonna take a first bite of this. Mmm, I haven't had Pizza Hut in years. You know where this Pizza Hut is at? I finally found it. <coughs> mm, that's spicy. <coughs> What are you talking about? There's people in their 60s and 70s who eat Pizza Hut. Um, you think that's funny? You wanna giggle? Pizza Hut is not for, this man said Pizza Hut's for teenagers. I just said that I haven't had Pizza Hut in years. Pickle. I am so glad, cause for a while there, and I know y'all have noticed it too, for the last two weeks, all you saw was people reacting to the R. Kelly. My, hope, my heart goes out, of course, to the victims, but if you suffer from, if you haven't watched it, don't watch it. If you suffer from anxiety, any type of depression, I would not recommend watching Surviving R. Kelly. Um, from what I understand, he even started a Facebook, did you hear about this, babe? He started a Facebook page and a website talking about something like lies, the R. Kelly lies of surviving. Facebook shut that page down. You ain't getting no sympathy. I have no sympathy for this man. This is this is all I'm gonna say. We're gonna move on. Let me have a drink. I understand that he was molested by a child as a child, by a child technically by his older sister, and you know, um, predators who are molested. A lot of them end up growing up and molesting other people. But the thing I have, the problem I have with R. Kelly, the reason why I can't be empathetic towards him is because he doesn't think he's doing anything wrong. He has admitted no guilt to doing anything. So I, I can't I can't sympathize with the man. Moving on. I've been watching um, different YouTubers lately and one person I've been watching, I really love her channel, is Sharon, so Sharon She's So Fabulous. I believe that's her YouTube name. She has a quite a bit of following, 80,000 80, plus subscribers, and I love her channel. I first discovered her, um, she, has, she's, she was a trucker, meaning that she drove trucks. And I am subscribed to this red bone, <laughs> I'm so country. This fair-skinned girl from Louisiana. She's from, I think she's from the New Orleans. She has a thick accent, baby. You, as soon as she, as soon as she speaks, I see gumbo. Justin Wilson. <laughs> I see the Saints. I mean, you can't deny that the girl's from Louisiana. She's a very, very cute. And then uh, Montana De Leon, which. We ain't gonna talk about that. Mo Montana De Leon, who, anyway, that's who I, That's how I discovered by watching them. And then you know how you get um, uh, recommendations from, uh, 
recommendations for our other videos and I started watching her trucking and it was really interesting. Then she started doing a little bit of decorating and I really do like it. Now, let me eat this. Mm. I think that the neutral, the neutral gray mirrored dresser sparkly stuff is played out. Y'all, the lights are going down, sorry. That style, in my opinion, is played. I mean, it's not necessarily played out, but I get so tired of seeing people doing that. Um, she's kind of like that, but she does pop of color. But I like her. You guys should check her out. Her name is Sharon. She's so fabulous. Fabulous. She does chit chat. She sits down and talks to you. Um, she's very real and down to earth, and I like people like that. Mm mm mm. But so I said, I've just been watching people reviews. Ashley Miller. Um, I started watching some of Funky Doniva's reviews again because he's, I don't know. I think Quentin is going through a phase right now and he's gotten a lot better. So yeah. Well, so that's it when it comes to YouTube. You know, um, I'm not into the drama. Look, look, now the light is coming. Sorry, y'all. Not into the drama, so I don't know what's going on as far as the drama. I try not to really play into that. Um, so, TV. I've been watching a lot more TV. One show I would highly recommend on Netflix is, is it called Good Girls? Good Girls. It has Christina Hendricks from Mad Men, the redhead. Well, she's, she's not a real true redhead, by the way. Um, but I love her. Love her curvy body, uh, spunk. You know, she's funny. And Good Girls has that dark humor that I like. Um, so I binge watched the entire show and I love it. And I definitely love the Latino drug dealer who's in <laughs> Him and Christina Hendricks' character have this type of um, tension. It's like a sexual, you don't know whether or not he gonna strangle you or give you some roses. It's, it's that type of tension going on, girl. So I like that. A show that I just saw and it came out this week is The Passage. Absolutely love it. I'm a sci-fi fan, vampires, zombies, werewolves, all of that. I love horror, I love thriller, but I love this. It's given me, and I'll tell you what it's, it's kind of what it's about, but it's given me the strain mixed with the girl with all the powers. If you've seen the girl with all the powers, that's on Netflix too. Um, the main character surrounds a young black girl and I'm not gonna give a lot, but it's zombies. I'm not zombies, it's vampires, okay, vampires. And guess who is in it? Zach from Saved by the Bell. At first I didn't recognize him, but I, I remember the voice, because I used to watch Saved by the Bell. I mean, who didn't watch Saved by the Bell? So I'm looking at him and I'm like, he has dark hair and yeah, he's gained a little weight. And I'm like, oh, it's Zach. That's Zach from Saved by the Bell looking fine as hell. Zach is 40 years old, he's grown. I'm like, yes, Zach saving the little black girl. I'm a little black girl, you can come and save me. <laughs> it's called The Passage, and it's really good, you guys. It comes on Mondays on Fox. Dirty John. When I tell you I'm addicted to everything about this show, <laughs> this is based on a real life incident re uh, surrounding a man named John Meehan, Mayhan. he has a weird last name. And it's currently on, I don't know what, what channel it's on because I watched it on um, Showbox. Um, when I tell you this is a great show. And it really, really, it really gives you an insight on how men can be so manipulating. And as women, some of us just continue to miss the cues and the red flags because we are in love or we crazy about the, but I hope it's bigger than this. <laughs> You know what I mean? We get strong, we get in love. Everyone wants to feel wanted or in chosen. And so this woman, um, the last victim, quote unquote, um, had tons of money. And he basically was a scammer, you guys. He's a scammer. So look, if you haven't watched it, let me know. Dirty Jump, I love it. And there was a documentary on it and I think that um, no Inside Edition did a little show on it. So yes, it's crazy, it's absolutely crazy. Another one that is on season two now, Counterpart. When I tell you that I love this show, it has, it's multi-layered in my, child, it's multi-layered in my opinion. Um, 
It starts the guy that's in the insurance commercials, the older bald white guy. And basically what it's about is on Showtime, I believe. Is it on Showtime? Is it on Showtime or Stars? Is it on Stars? <laughs> Bless you. You 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 need to go. You are you are you having allergies? Did you get your allergy shot? Okay. Um, so it's on stars, I'm sorry, but <clears throat> again, I watch it through Showbox. If you guys don't, you know, subscribe to any of that stuff, get Showbox, it's downloading on your phone and you can watch just about everything. So basically it's about, um, you have our world and then you have another world. There was some type of world disaster where it duplicated another world. So you basically have another you on the other side and they are totally different from who you are on the other side. And... <laughs> The way to get to the other side is through Russia, okay? Um, there was this huge outbreak that killed a number of people and one side is blaming the other for this virus. Uh, there's management that kind of controls a lot of the bodies of secret agents. I love it, I live for it. It has sci-fi, it has detective, it has that thriller feel, counterpart is the name. I really am enjoying that show a lot. Um, and it has British actors, and y'all know how I feel about British people. I love, I love it. Married to Minutes and the Housewife Heifers. I cannot do Housewives. I really do think they need a revamp of a new cast. I just can't. Let me tell you who needs to go. Cynthia's boring ass needs to go. Candy's crying ass. The Candy Cody Click. The Candy Fact. They all need to go. Done one. They all need to go. I'm so over candy. Um, I honestly think they should bring back either Phaedra or Kenya. I really do. Phaedra or Kenya. Marlo is never getting the peach. Never. You can do whatever you want. I don't think she would. Andy would never have that her on that show, y'all. Um, I like the, I like, what is her name? Begins with a T. Tanya, I love her. The one that, that she, they had the uh, party at her house where Candy and Portia got into it. Nini's friend. I really do like her. I think she brings a different type of energy. She's a little bougie, which I can hang with. But I like her. They should keep her on. But I'm over it. I didn't watch the last episode. I caught bits and pieces of it. But I did. I do watch people reviews, you guys. Sometimes I don't even watch these really reality shows. Because one, I don't have the time. Two, I don't have the energy or the patience to deal with the BS. So I do watch the reviews. Uh, I like to look at Ashley Miller reviews for It's Roxy and James Caldwell. So watching the reviews is still a bunch of foolery. Heavenly has a YouTube channel. I love, I like Heavenly. I know she can be a problem, but I do like her. And she has a YouTube channel where she actually re reviews uh, her show. I think she should review all the shows because she's so funny, you guys. Um, you know, I just... I prefer Married to Medicine over The Real Housewives, but I just feel like these shows drag on. Do we really need 9, 10, 11 episodes and three reunions? You up. Girl, I, I, I can't deal with it. All right, y'all, so real quick, we're gonna talk about something, a discussion. We're done with the TV shows, hold on. Shout out to Trey. A young man by the name of Trey left the sweetest comment on my latest vlog, you guys. Honey, I started crying when I read that comment. I read it twice, actually, because it was such a beautiful comment, basically telling me how he enjoys my videos. This is not, you know, <clears throat> he enjoys watching the vlogs. He can tell that I'm a great mother. He can feel the love I have for JB. Um, he hopes to one day be a great father, and I'm just showing great. I'm, I'm tearing up just thinking about it because you guys, when you are a parent, and even when you're a parent to a young child, you always doubt yourself if you are doing the right things. Um, you, I think any parent does this regardless of age, but that's something I'm always concerned about is, am I, am I good enough? And so when people leave comments like that, that really means a lot to me. It, it, so, what do you guys feel about the subject of grown people still living at home with their parents. Meaning, I'm gonna say 22, 23 plus, because when you're 18, 19, 20, a lot of kids are still at home. So 23, 24 plus living at home. What do you feel about that? 
depending on your culture, depending on what you're used to, everyone's gonna be different. This is how I feel like. Western culture, American culture, we have like this cutoff date where you're 18, you need to go to school, get a job, eventually you need to move out. I don't know if that's the right way, you guys. I feel that as long as your child is in college and is working is in, and is productive, there's no need to push your child out. I think that we should let our children go when they are prepared and ready. Um, I told JB, <laughs> I said, please do not feel the need to move out. He's only he's only six, y'all, but I, you know, telling him now that as long as you are in college, as long as you are working, you can stay with us. There's no need to move out. Stay with us, save your money. Um, and yeah, you'll be good. So let me know what you think about you guys in the comments. I think my husband. I think my husband wants to go somewhere, so. And you know, um, ancestry DNA, y'all, I'm never doing that. I have family members who, who've done it. I had someone who, uh, I saw someone post on Facebook, have anyone met, have anyone discovered any distant relatives? Girl, for what? I don't even, I don't even want to deal with the relatives I have, I have now that I know. Why would I want to discover some new ones? No, ma'am. And who is that? 23andMe? So is selling some of their information or a pharmaceutical company is, is buying into them? You ain't getting my DNA. No, I, 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 my makeup is 100%, well, 99% black or something. So thank you so much for watching and you guys take care. Bye.